get into this sardis and then you open it up i don't really get anything big that is a seal that means it's just so cute this smells so good Yeah. Oh my god! And we're in the vet's office. Hey, Rocky! Oh, be careful! Kilo, what is wrong with you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week, we're starting on a Thursday. And, um, yeah, Thursday and Saturday is my, what do you call it? My, my little cousin, another little cousin's birthday on my dad's side. And, um, I'm getting my hair done. Uh, I'm, my appointment's at four and it's like four to one. So I should walk in now, but I had to start my vlog. It's been raining and I'm kind of mad. I should have brought a scarf or something. But, like, when she does my hair, the humidity usually doesn't affect it at all. But still, it's a thing with me. Oh, Lord the camera i'm so sorry but anyways we're about to head in now um yeah birthday party saturday we're gonna have some stuff on this wall you'll see me when my hair is done i guess i'm back so i know i told y'all when you see me you'll be able to see my hair and whatnot but we're not right now because it was raining and it's super humid so as soon as i got home i just put my hair up in this oh i'm gonna have to show y'all how i put it up in here this thing is a heatless curler oh, it's amazing anywho y'all can see my hair tomorrow but right now i'm about to eat because i haven't eaten all day get into this sardis and then you gotta have the yellow sauce peruvian chicken that's a must have but then also some red sauce because i like spice and this is like the yellow sauce with spice then we got my favorite dessert of all time in life strawberry shortcake this strawberry shortcake is bomb and it's surprising because they use pudding which is completely against my like dietary restrictions but i've been doing so good lately i was like i can treat myself to a strawberry shortcake so I thought that last clip was the last clip, which is why my scarf is on right now. But looks like I got milk today. About to open it up. Let's see how people be opening up with one arm. No. Oh my gosh. Do y'all know what this is? So for my little cousin's birthday, I decided to get her because my aunt doesn't want any toys. Understandable, people will get a bunch of toys and then kids don't play with toys. Kids play with remotes and keys. I learned this from experience with kids. <laughs> Well, they play with everything but toys but this is it's so cute because you can hold it like a bag this is a sensory book so they have like the alphabets on the back a mermaid and then you open it up and here's some gears to twist and turn hold on we need the better lighting some gears to twist and turn buckles to play with zippers what else and this feels pretty sturdy. One thing they had complained about was, look, tell time. It's supposed to last them until they're well into like kindergarten and stuff. Just all types of open and close. Somebody was complaining that it was hard to open the stuff, but they were the only person and it's not. I remember I had a Paddington bear and all he did was zip class it was like four things he did i always wanted something that did more and this does more they were complaining about these they said that that wasn't glued down very well but it seems very sturdy to me this just is nice quality basically there was one that i had seen and it wasn't it didn't have the middle part like a book it was just like two sides and it didn't have gears and stuff like this definitely has more and that's the first one i saw and i was like oh my gosh this is perfect and the reviews was like oh it's cheap and stuff so i was like okay let's find the most expensive one because that should be the best quality the most expensive one was just like five dollars more and i'm like okay well <laughs> oh my goodness i think this is a great gift and my little cousin is turning one so oh this is so cute okay I do want to get her like a cute little tutu outfit as well. So tomorrow I'm going to be running errands, getting a gift bag for her, returning some rain boots that came in the mail for my other little cousin, Naomi. And this is for baby L, Naima. And yeah, just birthday gift errands. Yeah. But I also have another package. 
I don't know what else I got. Wait, first of all, there's something else. Here. I also got a new cord for my hard drive. It's just what this is. I can give Zach his, his cord back because he was like, don't break my cord. I tried to tell him I didn't break my cords. When you get like the $20, the $60 hard drives, they give you really cheap cords. He got like a $200 hard drive. So they gave him like a really nice cord. And even the reviews, they said they had to get the cord that I got because their hard drive cords just stopped working. And that's basically, what they just stopped fitting in the cord. The USB part, it becomes loose. I'm like, how does that even happen? So this is the next package. I don't know if it's anything big. It's a vase for my roses. Tell me this isn't the cutest vase. I'm not basic. I'm not just gonna get no round vase. Look at this. So I am gonna put the roses in this after I eat. And I'm gonna let y'all see that. Hey y'all, so we're in a trip to Target. I'm well, I just returned this stuff for Nomi Nom. And I'm looking for the kid section. Okay, that's babies. This over here is cute. I seen these little mini purses and I'm pretty sure they're for adults. But they were so cute. Hold on, Zach's calling me. He needed moisturizer and gel. Don't forget. No, I'm not saying many times like it. Moisturizer and gel. So, I see the cutest things like, but where's the toddler ages? Cause this is actual kids. Toddler might be with babies. Oh, you know what I can get Naomi? A bathing suit. That's what I can get her. I don't even know what her little stuff. Okay, first of all, that's super cute. And it only turned two. Look at this cute little baby suit. And the thing is, I miss her little self. She's so chunky, so is it gonna fit her? I mean, it stretches. Oh my gosh. Everything happens for a reason. Because I ordered a 24 month little spring two piece outfit, but this is way better. Ooh, that's cute too. They have cute little outfits. But I like that color her skin tone because me and her are kind of the same skin tone. And I like this color. How does this look on my skin? I think this will look cute on her. Oh, that's so precious. Oh my goodness. O-E-K-O dash hat confidence text. Okay, in case, I don't know if you guys know, but basically this right here, that is a seal. That means the dye that they use is sustainable. I'm definitely getting it now. This is cute. How much is that? Hurry be having good prices. 17. What? That's nothing. I'm getting carried away, y'all. Oh, my cousin. Oh, I just know my aunt would love something. Really? I'm gonna get her a bathing suit. She wears 12 to 18 months. I'm gonna get her 18 months. Tell me this not cute. This is why I don't have a kid, because I go broke. I already almost go broke shopping for the dogs. Okay, because the reason I got Naomi this, Naomi's not girly girl. Her mom doesn't dress her girly girl, so this matches. But my cousin Elle, she's a girly girl, and her mom does dress her girly girl. Pink, purples, almost got her this, but it looks cheap with the ruche and stuff. You got to know when to ruche and when not to ruche. I don't think you're really supposed to ruche bathing suits much. <sighs> matching hats perhaps so they both a little natural hair oh my gosh this hat is so cute with this y'all tell me that not cute no me know with a little bucket hat i say zero to six months she do have a little big head <laughs> what's the age on this naomi is two we got to find 24 months yep 12 to 24 months y'all look at this I don't know, now I'm not liking it. I don't know, she might not even wear a bucket hat. I'm just getting carried away. It's so exciting. Like, look at all this cute stuff. I don't know what to do with myself. It's just so cute. Oh, little jellies. Wait, what time? Okay, I'm getting so panicky because I can't see the time with the camera on, but apparently you have 20 minutes. 20 minutes is a long time for me. I just don't know Naomi's shoe size, but ew, I know her shoe size. Six and seven is what my aunt has said. Six slash seven. Dang, they don't have her size in these cute little purple ones. Let me see. Maybe I'll skip the shoes. Because I already got her. Y'all saw the sensory thing I got her. And then that little bathing suit. Oh, it has the rouge. I didn't even realize it has the rouge. It's just a less cheaply placed rouge. Oh, but these aren't even cuter. Look at these. I wish they had a color that would match. Y'all, how cute are these with this? Ah. 
Yeah, that's great for Nomi Nom because she has the blocks and then she has a little swimsuit with the glasses. You now for my little cousin, she has a sensory board and then she has a swimsuit. I want to get her flip flops or something. I don't see any sandals that match that. I don't see any sunglasses that match that. I want to think, y'all. Oh, I see some cocoa melon. I think I might have found something. Look, y'all. I'm trying to think. I think that would be cute. To be honest, they're not fabulous enough. I wanted super fabulous sunglasses. But, um, Zach needs moisturizer and gel, so I'll get that. To be honest, these are super cute, though. Coco Melon sunglasses. I'm overthinking it. It's super cute. Both of them are super cute. Because I got girly sunglasses because Naomi's bathing suit isn't that girly. And then I got more, like, regular sunglasses because Elle's bathing suit is already girly. So, they both balance each other out. I have, like, three minutes, and I have no idea where the gift bags are. I'm like, how is it that hard? I wonder how to the normal setup of putting gift bags at the front. I think we're getting closer. Stationary. Gift bags are always in the stationary. Party, party. I got this one for Nomi Nom, but it's for her blocks. Is it in a big bag? But I don't need a big one. Ooh, this one's cute. Is it big enough? I'll be back and I'll let y'all know what one I picked. I picked this one, y'all. Isn't it so cute? And I know everything's gonna fit. It's gonna be a little snug, but it's too cute not to get it. You haven't seen me in a while. <laughs> I took a nap, everything when I got back. I was so tired. Oh my gosh. But mm, Zachary Ray. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what I, what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> he said, hey, what's up? But like it's a person on the phone. Yeah, that's a person. True. But um, yeah, he decided to get some food from a new place called Colvin Cardamom and his bomb. And look, my dessert. I didn't already taste everything else. Their falafel is bomb, first of all. And then what else did we taste? These little pastry things, fried pastry things. Look, you want to show them? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show y'all. This is a Mediterranean dish. Them falafels is bomb. There's saffron rice. It's like very fragrant. And these are cauliflower bites. So spicy, but so good. And you dip them in Thai chili sauce. A good substitute for uh, hot chicken wings. <laughs> and what's the other one we got? You ate it? Yeah. <laughs> it was in there. The pastries I was yeah, telling y'all about. and uh, potato. So I'm about to um try this. She don't know what it is sure. yet, neither. Yeah, I have no idea what this. He already checked for nuts, so we know it's not nuts. I can eat that eggplant thing on dude. That was so good. Mm. We ain't even try with none. You gonna try it with me or no? Yeah. Okay, I'll wait. No, 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 no. You go ahead and try that. I was Ooh. talking about the naan. Um, yeah, naan's gonna taste about the same. This smells so good. Key lime pie. Mm -hmm. What? Raspberry pie? Cheesecake? They're uh, raspberry and pomegranate. Mmm, pomegranate. It's so bomb. It tastes like a key lime at first. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. I'm not lying. This could literally be my new favorite dessert. For real? Like, of everything I got from any restaurant. For real? Yes. that good. I'm about to try that. Cause I'm not a sweet person, so it's like light, and then it has a little bit sour, which I love. Oh my gosh, and it's a perfect amount, y'all. Hey y'all, so it's Sunday, and we ordered from this vegan restaurant called Sticky Fingers in Northeast. I'm walking to pick it up right now because it's done. Hi, I'm 
picking up an order for Victoria? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I had ran back because the shake wasn't in the drink thing, but apparently they put the shakes in the bag. Gotta tell Zachary Reed the shake's in the bag. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Where's the C4? It's in the shed. Speak it's English. It's Where's the, the C4? Back to the uh, shed. In the shed? It's in the shed. Back in the shed. It's in the shed. It's in the shed. Zachary, oh, he won't mean getting. Y'all, okay, so this is some type of oyster. Is it oyster mushroom? It's like a baked chicken, or is it steak? Wasn't it like steak. a steak? It's like a country fried steak. Ooh, on Swiss charlotte, or they said seasonal green. And that's the gravy. This is a um, buffalo chicken wrap that guy. He gonna share or let me taste anyway. And all of the chicken and meat is substituted with mushroom. Yes, and this is a pagoli or something. It's some type of potato dumpling that looks, smells bomb. We got some Brussels sprouts. Those are huge. These are calamari made from oyster mushrooms and this freaking these greens this is what we get swiss chard right and then um and this is satan like um satan it's like a that's a tan a fake sausage meat sausage yes yeah, satan sauce and then zach got acai with nuts in it i can't taste that's that. not acai or a smoothie bowl blueberries and all that and also we got these turmeric spritzers they got like ginger beer turmeric some type of citrus oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm about to taste this yeah, steak stuff no. That tastes just like country fried steak. Mmm. I want to taste a potato. Mmm. Open the sauce. This tasted dipped in a little bit of sauce. Unless you want me to open it. I want to dip it in sauce. You don't have to drizzle it. Okay. Mmm. That's so good. Y'all. I want more. I don't want to get full. You don't want to get full off of that. Let's try other stuff first. I can 100% Yeah. I'm going to chase this too much spritz, too. Uh, I was going to say that rap. It's good. Oh, my goodness. That's good. Oh, that is good. Okay, I got better lighting in position, y'all. We're tasting this next. It got a sauce in it. It's like a vegan sour cream. Like everything is vegan. I was gonna get a shake, but I didn't want to be fat. I got a shake. <laughs> yeah, Zach got a shake because he's fat. <laughs> you didn't ate almost the whole piece. Oh. That look good. I want you know I want to try one of them. You want to try it together? Yeah. Two pieces. You want a piece each or try the same piece? Try the same piece. Rip it or? Yeah, dip it. You try it first. Should I bite it? What does it taste like? Mm. I'm gonna try dipping it. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That is bomb. This is like a potato dumpling. Mmm. That sour cream is good too. It's like a potato and a dumpling. Like a potato pot sticker type. I don't know. Like mashed potatoes. It's like mashed potatoes inside of a. Don't it taste like a mashed potato dumpling or something? You know, I already started tasting the calamari, y'all. I'm not gonna look at your face. I'm gonna taste a piece and then taste it with sauce. Hold up. It's giving calamari. How does it taste like calamari? I don't know, but I'm about to eat it. Because we've had oyster mushroom taste like chicken, and now it's tasting like calamari. But remember, we told, we said it gave it more of the texture of calamari when we had it. Yeah. Mmm. This is crazy. The marinara could taste a little better. Mm, but this completely is... different flavor. I love it. Yeah. Definitely squeeze some lemon. You want me to squeeze some lemon on all of it or some of it? You can squeeze some on all of it. Well, no, no, no. We're not going to eat all of it. Nah, so I'll just do it on some of it. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good, y'all. Especially with the added lemon. And also, we don't have no utensils at. Oh, man. Go the potato stuff comes with sauerkraut and greens. Everything comes on a bed of greens. And they're both bomb. Like, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put the sauerkraut on the potato thing. This is so good. Uh, everything is plant based. Including this is so flowers. good. Yeah, it's all plant based, vegan. Sticky fingers. And gluten free, ain't it? Yeah. What else do we have to taste? Oh, you have your acai. That's not acai. I mean, smoothie bowl. Uh, you know, acai is a difficult I know different. what acai is. Okay. Please. <laughs> I just keep accidentally saying that because that's all you get is acai. Come on, we're going to taste something. We're going to get full before we taste everything. 
well not get full but no, oh you that. didn't cover the other sauce okay next up is the buffalo chicken wrap this how big it is it's pretty big you want to bite it first you just want me to bite the yeah because he be he be have a big old bite get it started oh that's a good face It's refreshing too. I'm gonna bite. That sauce is crazy. Mmm, that's good. That is super good. It tastes like a buffalo chicken wrap. How are we finding out about all these good vegan things all at one time? Right. We about to taste the satan sausage. This is the sausage they serve with their breakfast. You put the whole thing in your mouth. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. That's good. This is bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold up. That is delicious. This tastes like some corned beef hash. Yeah, like chop that up, put that with. I can use yeah. that sausage to make that sweet potato hash. That sauce should be good. <laughs> like you eat it with the chicken, with the, um, what's that that you put the sausage in? You talking about the, the sweet potato hash? No. This side for the not the wait no 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 that's boys and poets what's that dish called? I'm about to eat some Swiss chard. What's that dish called? They didn't give us no silverware y'all. The silver or the the damn shrimp and sausage. Oh. This tastes like the sausage in there. The chorizo. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's not this as is spicy. 100% plant based. Yeah. That chorizo is fresh. You see, taste the chorizo. You'll see what I mean. Like similar to spinach. I mean Swiss chard. That's why I said we should get Brussels sprouts. It's nice and fresh. Oh, yeah. Look at him. You gotta get your Popeye spinach. Look at that Swiss chocolate. Oh my God! Burn. <laughs> I just dropped liquids. Oh, they didn't give us no napkin, did they? They didn't give us no nothing. Why well, keep looking here? Dang. Hold up. Do I got a teacher? No. Oh, I just poured outside because yeah. it really didn't get on me. Okay. As long as it I'm about to get it. Then you could use this Clorox wipe. Okay, next up is this Brussels sprout. These are huge, y'all. Huge. You wanna grab one? It's lemon butter or something? I'm getting a little one. Mmm. That's good. You know how much um vitamins and shit we're gonna get from this? A lot. That's a bomb Brussels sprout. Mmm. I never did try this. Did you tell them how that tasted? Bomb. <laughs> he about to taste the um turmeric spritz, y'all. I'm gonna sip a little more of mine while he tastes it. Did you have to stir? Nope. Oh, yeah, that's good. I love how these things taste. Because it tastes like a soda, but it's a ginger beer in there. Mm. What we got left? That's everything. We didn't taste everything. Now I'm going to eat. eat. <laughs> we about to try the vanilla shake. It was Zach's vanilla shake. I'm surprised he got the smoke. Well, he usually get extra large. <laughs> he poker facing it. Why your other uh, thing blurred? Mmm. It's sweet though. There's sprinkles in it. Mmm. That thing is good. Boy, you tearing it up. This, I don't want to shake. What flavor is that vanilla? They put sprinkles in it? Oh, shit. Mmm. It's good. Yeah, hey, so it's currently Wednesday and we're in the vet's office. He was a big baby. Mama's baby girl. Here's the people outside. He's so jumpy. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Hey, Mama. How's it that? Anxious little tail. Yeah, y'all. We're back. And, um, gosh. I can't stand how her vet is scared of her just because she's a pit bull. Because he, like, he was parent. He was like. And he already met her once. The last time was his first time I met her, he was being scared. Put a muzzle on her. No one's ever had to put a muzzle on her. Even with the muzzle, she doesn't try to bite when he's doing the shots. It's just because he's scared and he don't want to admit it. Like, she's going to have to have another vet because I don't want her having a vet that's afraid of her. If anything, she's more afraid of you than you are of her. So what is the problem? And he's trying to uh, make money prescribing her all this types of stuff. Child, they don't even know that I know. I know the game. <laughs> Anywho, that's that. <laughs> hey, Rocky. Hey, Rocky. Hey, Rocky! 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 Hey,
Oh, be careful. Kilo, what is wrong with you? Here. <laughs> yeah. Look, they're playing this. <laughs> Here, Rocky. Here, Rambo. Rambo. No, mama. Y'all, you two got more than this. This greedy. Hey y'all, so it's Thursday, and like I said, the high today is like 74, 75. I'm gonna be outside. Me and Kiko, Kiko. Kilo to low. Me and Mama's. My boy, boy. Say hi, Mama's. Baby girl. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye. She's so cute. Y'all, this dog is over here digging. She's only allowed to dig in this one part because there's no grass. But look at her hole. Or a hole. It's like three little holes. What you about to bury something? Mamas, what you doing? <laughs> hey, you looking crazy. What you just didn't go under there? She basically sees stuff go underground and tries to get it by digging for her. She's so funny. So I'm gonna close up the video. Tomorrow is Friday, so it's gonna start a new vlog. Tomorrow's gonna be quite eventful. I'm going to Bethesda, Northwest DC area for my Aunt Donnie's birthday. There are so many freaking birthdays in February. I tell ya. For my Aunt Donnie's birthday dinner. And um, it's at seven. I'm gonna be out there around 4.35. So I'll have two hours in Bethesda before the actual dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe just enjoy the weather, go to a cafe or something. There's so many places I'm gonna do. I should plan that out today but yeah um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below any ideas for future videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel